What is up everybody? Okay, here's just a real quick one to get started in Unreal 5.5 with the sky. If you don't know how to build a quick sky, this is the way, the route to go. If you go to window and you go to environment light mixer, right here love, yeah, just click that button. It opens up with this. Now, it gives you all of these little things. You can choose minimal, normal, normal advanced. It doesn't matter, man. Let's go with normal advanced and just click on every one of these buttons and bam you've got it now you've got everything here that you can change which is really beautiful it's really beautiful that's for the directional light you can see there that's for your sky atmosphere and so on all the elements that you've added into here all of these so for instance if i take the directional light here's all your options you don't need to keep that panel open you can just get everything over here. So if I do take that uh, directional light over there, you can you can pick it, Jimmy, and you can just you can just what, what, what's going on? No, that's on the, that's, not, that's on the wrong one. Directional light, that's the one you're looking for. And if you just move this, rotate it around, you can see that you can start affecting the sky, which is pretty damn cool. Very, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful, Jimmy. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get the. Let's get the lighting the way we... Oh, look at ah, that, ah, that, Margaret. Don't, don't touch it, Margaret. I told you not to touch it. Look at that, though. So we've got the sky in there. Uh, you can use a direction. You can go to your intensity, whatever you want. You know, you've got full control over this. What kind of lighting you want, you know, you can change what light, what lighting you want. I'm going to leave it as it was. Uh... Uh, and you can go through all these. There's there's a ton of things. Light shafts. Do you want light shafts to start coming in? Yes, you do, because if you start having uh, what's it called? Well, if you start having like geometry here, you can get these cool light shafts that come with the sun rays and whatever, which is it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Then you can go to the exponential fog, and you can add. Scroll up to the top, and you can start adding how much fog you can see. It's affecting it there. The height, the fall off of it, you can see it right there, Jimmy. So you've got a lot of control. The color of the fog, you can change it to whatever you want, Jimmy. Look at, look at, look at that, Jimmy. It's beautiful. So there's a lot of cool options that you get with each of these. You just need to go through them. Uh, there's another one for volumetric fog. You can see the difference it does there. It always gives you like very nice results, whatever. So go through these things. Landscape, that's the one I just added here. It's just a landscape. That's That's got nothing to do with the lighting. Atmosphere, you can go in here. I wouldn't mess with this too much, Jimmy. Not too much. Uh, you know, it's it's you can to get the look and feel you want, but it's kind of set there. And if you know what you're doing, you can you can go in and you can you can mess with a lot of these features. It's all there. It's all there, love. Uh, you've got your skylight. Don't touch it. You know, uh, cube maps. If you're using real-time lighting, you don't need this resolution. If you're baking it out, you can up this resolution to get better shadow quality. Um, otherwise, you're just going to use it in real time. And that's fine. The only thing that you can really affect is your intensity scale. Don't touch it. Don't leave the intensity scale. Rather mess with the other ones. And then you've got your volumetric clouds, which is beautiful. You know, you can use your latitude, your altitude. Look, 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 look at this, Ari. Look at this. It's beautiful. Um, your tracing distance. Look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? How much details you can see all the way down there. Um, and then, oh no, what did I touch there? Oh, I like this here. Okay. You can change your, your colors of your clouds. Your I don't know what that does. I don't know, Jimmy. I don't know. It's not doing anything. Uh, and here's another one. In the material of the clouds, you can also go into this. Over here, you can see here, you've got a lot of options. But if you go into here, Margaret, you, then you get your clouds. You get your clouds. And over here, you can start messing with your cloud scale. Let me just try and move this somewhere where we can see it. And you can start messing with different options within the material for the clouds, which is pretty cool. Uh, cloud type mask, cloud global coverage. There's, there's a lot of things that you can start messing with. Ugh, look at that. Yeah, man, look at that. So play around, but this is just a really quick way of just getting up and creating something that you can start uh, creating with, right? Creating a sky with, make a sky, and boom. There it, there, there it is, love. 
you've got it, you've got it. Why is it breaking down there? But you can start seeing these little uh, rays and whatever, which is pretty damn cool. So that's it. Uh, I hope this helps. Just to get in there, you can start seeing the, the, the little bit of the rays and stuff. It's pretty there. You see that? You see that? Look at the volume battery it is, Jimmy. Look at it. And that comes from if you go to directional light uh, and you go down here, uh, you can set, ooh, ooh, you've got, there's your light shafts, and you can start increasing your light shafts, start, you know, making it cooler, whatever you want to do with this, you know, it's beautiful. You can have light bloom on the shafts, Jimmy. Look at, look at that, Jimmy. So you can access the bloom, the bloom scale, let's just really pump it like that, threshold. But there we go, you start seeing, you can get some incredible, incredible, in quarter blow results so i hope this helps uh i've done a, a nice one on, on if you want to buy a sky ultra dynamic sky which is pretty damn cool but if you don't want to and you just want to stick with unreal fives which you can get some incredible things with this is a basic tutorial to get you up and running we'll get more into depth with all the features everything you can change your clouds the way they look all or a lot of options a lot of options but this is a quick one just to get you started I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.